getting there. Yeah. Uh, I started a little bit earlier this year. We'll see how it goes. It's uh, it's a little warm. We'll, we'll see where it goes from here. Okay. Uh, what's it like for you, a guy uh, who's been here uh, years ago and Paul Chris was around? What's it like to see him back running the program? It's, it's really cool to see that happen. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing how things work out, and, and uh, I'm, I have a lot of faith in him. I'm sure that he's doing good things. And, uh, it's just fun to be back around here now, uh, getting a chance to see these guys and uh, getting a chance to talk with Coach Chris. And he's such a good guy. I'm really excited to see what goes on here. As an alum, is it nice to have connections then to your old playing days as opposed to when you had a new staff last year with guys you didn't know? Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, I know that new staffs often give new energy and, and things like that, but uh, it's nice whenever I go back, there's a certain level of comfort there. You know, if I can go back and use the weight room or uh, something like that, it makes it a lot easier when it's people that you know or people that you've been around uh, instead of a new new staff. Travis, what do you think the biggest adjustment might be for a guy like Paul? He was an all-time assistant here. You know what it's like as an assistant, but now he's got to see the big picture mm -hmm. as a head coach. I think it was always really interesting um, listening to him in offensive meetings. So mm -hmm. we have team meetings and you break up offense, defense. Yeah. And as soon as that happened, it almost like became that he was the head coach of the yeah. offense. And so even when I was playing, you could see that he had that in him. It, at some point, it was going to happen, whether it was at Wisconsin or wherever it was, uh, he had that in him. And so I think that he will do a very good job at, at that because he's, he's been doing it for such a long time. Now, I know there's a lot of other things that go into head coaching besides just mm -hmm. these speeches and, and talking with the team. All of a sudden, you have to deal with all the outside stuff. Um, so obviously, that's going to be a change. But for the most part, I think that the, the core of it, it has already been there. Do you think it'll be a seamless transition, though, because of his history with the team already? I think so. I think he was away long enough that there were some guys now that had never met him or didn't know. Um, so there is probably going to be some bumps with that um, and, and changing in coaching styles. Obviously, every head coach has their philosophy. So uh, I'm sure that Coach Anderson's philosophy is a little different than Coach Chris. So there's going to be some things there. But uh, I think for the most part, it, it, look, it sounds like uh, they've kept some pieces from the old staff and they got some of the guys from the new staff and they're bringing some of the old former players to, to do things. So it, it sounds like there's a lot of good things happening and a lot of pieces that are going to fit together. What was your reaction when you heard the news about Chris Borland and his decision to step away from the game and why and if you had a chance to even talk to him about it? I, honestly, I have not talked to him about it. Um, it's, it was interesting to me. Um, Chris has always been such a, a good player, good person, and somebody that's very uh, passionate about the game, always had a love for the game. So I'm sure it was a decision he didn't make lightly, and uh, I'm, I'm curious to talk with him and, and uh, see what's going on. What about you, uh, your career? you feel like a grizzled veteran now? <laughs> I don't know about grizzled veteran. Uh, I don't have to do rookie duties anymore now, so that's nice. I haven't been in a couple years, but uh, it's, it's fun to be around the group of guys that we have and that there never really was this kind of hierarchy. Obviously, you know, the rookies are a little bit lower and they have to do some certain things. But uh, other than that, it never was uh, guys that have played 10 or 13 years looking down on the other guys or uh, treating them any differently. It's, it really is a team that's working together to accomplish a goal. You guys were being talked about as one of the best units in the league, too. What was that like to go through similar to Madison? Maybe? <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's interesting when you hear that. Um, I think what we had going for us uh, so specially is that we had a really good group of guys that like to spend a lot of time together, but we had a lot of other pieces around us. It makes the running game a lot easier when you have the passing game that we had, you know, with Tony and Dez and uh, J Jason Witten. Obviously, you got the guys coming out of the backfield. You got Terrence Williams. So all, all of the different moving parts uh, complement each other, and that's what makes it so dangerous when you have a passing game that can be so explosive. It's hard to put, uh, you know, cover three on the field and, and move everybody into the box because then you're going to be able to take advantage of that in the passing game. So you have to find that balance. I think that's where we, uh, we excel. Tolzien's supposed to be here today. Are you going to talk about Des Bryant's catch to him at all? You guys going to discuss that matter? I, we talked after the game, and uh, honestly, at this point, it's all it's all passed, and it's it, it was passed at that point. You know, there's nothing you can do about it um, when, when the game's over, the game's over. And uh, it was fun to go say hi to Scott. And, uh, it's great to see him doing so well. and. and uh, Really excited about where he is. You know, every time I talk to him, he's, he's just thankful and he's proud to be uh, doing what he does. So uh, I'm happy and I'm excited to see him. I don't know if you saw the video of JJ and what he did at the Blake Jeffrey on uh, getting on the ice and putting on the skates and doing that, but Blake also promised that next year he was going to have another celebrity, maybe a former football player, do it. Any chance it was you and what was your reaction to seeing JJ do it? Uh, you know, I'm not sure that I, I I could do that. I've never played hockey before. I have been on ice skates, so I probably could skate around a little bit, but I don't know that I could shoot a puck. 
uh, it's always fun when you get a chance to do things like that and uh, events where you're raising money or you're back and you're around other people um, that have been in, in similar situations that's always fun so uh, obviously it's great to see him do things like that it's, it puts Wisconsin on the mark on, on the board and, uh, anytime that we can bring good publicity to Wisconsin that's what we're trying to do. When it ends like your last game did, do you want to remember that or do you want to forget it? I want to forget it. I think everybody has their own ways to, to deal with it or to use it. Um, I always take the motive or the, the, the way of looking at it that we'd have to just be better next year. You always have to just, there are so many things, it, it doesn't come down to one thing. Had we done one other thing better in the game earlier, we wouldn't have been in that situation. So uh, it's always just about getting better, focusing on the small things, the techniques, and um, making sure you're not in that same situation next year. You guys ready to jump into that group with the Packers and the Seahawks and the 49ers that have kind of ruled the NFC for the last X number of years? You know, I'm hoping so. Hey, for us, we really focus on the kind of one year at a time, one game at a time deal. So you don't really want to talk about how long or going for multiple years. But um, I think if we play well, we can be in the, in those groups. And that starts when we go to training camp and getting back to work and putting the pads on. It's it's always interesting how different things are in OTAs and mini camp than when you go to training camp and actually get to put some pads on. Well, things change.